This is Inside Ally Sports. I'm Pat Farnell. And I'm Angela Sun. It appeared to be business as usual at the top of the Superpipe at the World Snowboarding Championships in Oslo, Norway. Yuri Polachkov and Louis Vito were set to continue the rivalry that heated up at the Dew Tour Championships, and Gretchen Blyler was determined to unseat longtime rival Kelly Clark. With Terry Hawkinson, the driving force behind the event, the World Snowboarding Championships sought to advance the revolution of competition with a new format created by snowboarders for snowboarders. Right from the top on his first run, iPod set both the tone and the score to beat with a 12 double court, front side double 10, cab 10 double court, and finished with a front side 10 tail grab for 90.8. Rival Louis Vito wasn't nearly as successful on his first run, but did recharge and hit back with his second, utilizing his physical strength and ability to link spins on a smooth run that pushed him closer to iPod. But it was 20-year-old Matt Ladley who used the new judging system to his advantage with a massive front 12, back nine, and front 10, launching him past Vito and securing the second spot on the podium. But the day belonged to Yuri Polachikov, whose first run score was enough to put him on top of the podium. While fans on the women's side were focused on the seemingly endless battle between Americans Gretchen Blyler and the dominant force of nature that is Kelly Clark, it was Spain's Carl Castellet who shook up the pipe. Blyler opened things up with a strong run, sending a message by hitting her trademark crippler. But Castellet fired back, hitting a backside nine and frontside nine, putting her ahead of Blyler. But as always, Clark was the one to beat and made her opponent's goal nearly impossible with a huge frontside 10, a cab 7, and a backside 5. Placing her again at the top with an 86.6, followed by Castellet with Blyler rounding out the pack in the third. I've always said it about Kelly, when she's pushed, I love it. She answers back with her riding. So well done, Kelly. Well, the good news uh, for snowboarding fans, the action slope style was just as competitive on a monster of a course with only one point separating first and second in the men's division. With Norwegian favorites Torstein, Horgmo, and German Broughton out of the finals, ultimately it came down to a battle between American Chess Goldemann and Canadian Sebastian Tutan. Goldemann established an early lead and finished big with a tail press to backside 180 and a huge cab 1260 to earn the win. Tutant followed in second and Belgian Seppe Smits in third. Pat, it's great to see Chaz Goldemann back on the podium again. Agreed. For women's slope style, an early lead by Finnish rider Eni Ruka Yarve was soon eclipsed by Canadian Spencer O'Brien, ending with the 50 50 and a large frontside 720 and securing the win with a score of 84.4. Behind the Canadian was American Jamie Anderson with a 78.9, and Eni Ruka Yarve from Finland takes the third spot. With a career spanning over two decades, Norwegian Terry Hawkinson is one of the first names to pop up on anybody's list when you're talking about riders who have impacted the sport, industry, and movement of snowboarding. As the founder of the TTR World Snowboard Tour, Hawkinson lobbied hard with the Norwegian government in establishing this event to become a cornerstone of competitive snowboarding. Is Terry's vision of competition snowboarding finally coming to fruition? I am now joined by Olympic bronze medalist and Inside Ally Sports uh, snowboarding analyst, J.J. Thomas. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Pat. So let's uh, let's put it up there. Uh, is Terry's hard work finally paying off? Do we see that in Oslo this past week? Yes, I think it really is. We've seen Terry A. Hawkinson working on an event called the Arctic Challenge for 15 years. And now he has the World Snowboarding Championships with quarter pipe, half pipe, slope style, the best riders, biggest purse. I think he's done pretty well. Okay, and let's bring in the judging into the fold. He's always been a vocal person when it comes about battling the IOC and the FIS. A new judging system, drastically different, but maybe a little bit easier to follow for the average viewer out there? Yes, I think yeah. so. Um, the SLS, it's a great system, it's new. Is it foolproof? I don't know. It has its ups and downs, definitely has its merit. The riders who win love it, the riders who lose, a little salty, but it's a great start. Yeah, the salty ones, that always does happen, I should point exactly. out. Exactly. Um, let's talk about the progression of snowboarding. You're always a big fan of things continuing to move forward. We've got doubles, triples, eventually quad combos probably down the road. Does it uh, kind of put the, the, the style aspect of snowboarding at risk? Absolutely not. You think it might, but these guys, when they do their doubles in slope style, when they do their triples, 
The stuff looks good. These new guys have tons of style and it shows in their tricks. I love watching it. It's not hurting the style aspect at all. And can we talk about the female competitors? Uh, there was definitely uh, some ladies stepping it up in the pipe, right? Absolutely. Yeah. I think the event in Oslo was probably one of the best, if not the best, women's halfpipe snowboard contest ever. Um, Kelly Clark, Gretchen Blyler, Carol, they wrote amazing new tricks, new style. It's getting fun to watch. Yeah, it's great to see Carol Castellet, uh, you know, charge up Kelly Clark and Gretchen Blyler, who definitely have more in the tank. Um, and last but not least, let's talk about the retro aspect of the World Championships, bringing a quarter pipe event to the, uh, you know, into the fold. It's always good to see that come back, right? It's amazing to yeah. see quarter pipe events happen. They don't happen a lot, and when they do, they're fun to watch. Usually you get one big one a year. This was it, and this was awesome. We saw doubles go down, huge airs, beautiful McTwist. It's a great thing to watch. All right, well, I know you're nursing the knee injury. We look forward to your uh, upcoming sub uh, segments on Inside Ally Sports. Uh, JJ Thomas, everybody.